Hi everyone, my name is Ray Prakash, and welcome to another good set of pie chart here. Okay, so in this uh, set, another good concept conceptual set of pie chart. In the this set is another good uh, conceptual set of pie chart. So we start with this set. Uh, just read this set here, and get the concept behind it. Percentage breakup of three thousand domestic tourists in twenty sixteen. So percentage breakup of three thousand domestic tourists in twenty sixteen. Okay, percent. This is percentage breakup of eighteen hundred international tourists in twenty sixteen. Okay, so first, don't apply the funda of successive year. You got, you got to understand this, right? This is not the say. This is not the pie charts. This is not. This is not a double pie chart about same thing, right? Like one pie chart is depicting someone's salary in one year. Another pie chart is depicting that same person's salary in the another year. So directly can relate. Okay, this pie chart has increased. This pie chart has decreased. No. This is percentage breakup of three thousand domestic tourists. This one in twenty sixteen, and this is percentage breakup of eighteen hundred international tourists. So both are completely different pie charts. So I can't interrelate and apply successive year, right? You got to understand when to apply successive change. In that last video we had discussed, right? When one pie chart is same as the another pie chart, right? Same thing has been compared. Okay. Suppose this set was given as percentage in uh, in twenty sixteen. Three thousand domestic tourists visited a place, and this pie chart would have been in twenty seventeen. Four thousand domestic tourists visited visited this place. Okay, and these are the following in the following quarters, right? Then it is the case of successive because comparing both domestic tourists to uh, domestic tourists in the two so two years, right? So it is successive change. Same pie chart been increased or decreased, but here it is two completely different things. So don't apply successive, right? First you get this in mind. Now we'll solve it. Okay. Just see, these are four questions in front of you. If we include the fourth quarter of the year as well, the percentage of domestic tourists in the second third quarter will become twenty five percent and so on. We'll read the questions, right? Just what we'll do right now is, okay, I know that it has to be related. It has to be related with these numbers here, right? So there's three thousand domestic tourists. So what is the number here? Thirty percent of three thousand. That is nine hundred. We'll write nine hundred here. Okay. This first quarter to forty two percent. So forty two percent of three thousand visited in. First quarter, so forty-two percent of three thousand. So forty-two into three is one twenty-six. Okay, so it has to be twelve sixty. Okay, and then twenty-eight percent of three thousand. Twenty-eight into three eighty-four. So eight forty. Okay, this is the breakup here. Here also I can do it. Eighty out of eighteen hundred, thirteen thirty-five percent visited in first quarter. Thirty-five into eighteen. Thirty-five into twenty seven hundred. Thirty-five into two, seventy. Seven hundred minus seventy, six thirty. So six thirty. Okay. Forty percent of eighteen hundred. Eighteen into four is seventy two. Seven twenty. Okay. Twenty-five percent of eighteen hundred. What is twenty-five percent? One fourth. Half of half. Eighteen hundred half. Four four sorry nine hundred. Nine hundred half four fifty. So four fifty here. So again this will add up to eighteen hundred. Right. This will add up to Eighteen hundred. So this is done. So we should now read, read the questions here, right? Just read the questions here now. First question: If we include the fourth quarter of the year as well, the percentage of domestic tourists in the third quarter will become twenty-five percent of the total domestic tourists for the year. What was the number of domestic tourists in the fourth quarter, right? So see quickly, we'll solve. In, if we include the fourth quarter of the year as well, the percentage of domestic tourists in the third quarter will become twenty five percent. So this is now what is third quarter? Third quarter there are nine hundred people right now. In third quarter there are nine hundred people right now. So nine hundred would become twenty five percent now. Nine hundred would become twenty five percent, right? So if nine hundred is twenty five percent, what is the total population? Hundred percent. What is hundred percent then? So hundred percent is how much? It should be thirty six hundred, right? Just four times. Okay. So if nine hundred is twenty five percent, so hundred percent is thirty six hundred, right? I hope you got you got this point, no? Because in third quarter, out of three thousand nine hundred domestic tourists, uh, visited some uh, some city in twenty sixteen. Some city in twenty sixteen in third quarter. That is nine hundred number. The, if so, if fourth quarter is also included, right? So I, it it has to be like one more pie chart would be drawn here. Like this is for first quarter, this for second quarter, this for third quarter, 
and is for fourth quarter. So now third quarter, I know there are 900 people, but it is only 25%. So I can say that if this part is only 25%, then whole is what? 100%. That is into four. So 900 into four is how much? 3600. Okay, 3600. So what is the question now? What was the number of domestic tourists in the fourth quarter? So this is only about 3000, right? This is only about 3000. So now total is how much? Now total is how much? Now total is 3600. Okay. Earlier total was how much? Earlier total was how much? 3000. So now what is the total? 3600. Earlier total was 3000. So what is the number of uh, tourists in the fourth quarter? 600. That's the answer. Right. I hope you got it. Again, I'll explain. No issue. Very easy question. Just understand this concept that 25% of the domestic tourists visited in third quarter. That number is nine, right? Out of 3,900 people visited in third quarter. That number I know. Okay. So 900 people visited a city in third quarter. Earlier it was 30%. So total was 3,000. But if I include fourth quarter as well, so some extra people will be added, right? So that 900 will now reduce to uh, that 900 people will reduce from 30% of total to 25%. So 30% to 25%, right? That means 25% of the total people is now 900. So total people is how much? 3600. So if 3600 is the total people after I include fourth quarter and if I didn't include fourth quarter, total was how much? 3000. So what is the percentage? What is the people, number of people in fourth quarter? Sorry, what is the number of people in, number of people in fourth quarter? 3600 minus 3000, that is 600. So 600 is, the, uh, 600 is the answer for this question. Right, I hope you got, yeah. Move to next one now. Uh, question two, question two. Okay, this is a question two here. The international tourists, the international tourists who visited the city in fourth quarter is 150 more than the international tourist who visited in the second quarter. So in second quarter, how many people visited? 450, right? So in second quarter, 450, 450. So in fourth quarter, it is 150 more than that. That is, it is 600. So 600 people visited in fourth quarter. Okay, so 600 people visited in fourth quarter. So what was the percentage of the international tourists who visited in the fourth quarter among the total international tourists of the year? Okay. So what is now total international tourists? So total international tourists is how much? It is 1800 for these three quarters plus 600 plus fourth quarter, right? It is total 2400. Total 2400. Don't do a mistake here, right? Don't do a mistake here. People do this mistake. They calculate 600 out of 1800. That is false, no? Because we have to, uh, we have to take out of total. So four fifth, fourth quarter is 150 more than second quarter. That means fourth quarter is 600. And rest three quarter is 1800. So total becomes 2400, right? So what is the required percentage? 600 by 2400. That is 1 by 4. That is 25%. That is the answer. That is the answer for this question, right? 25% A option. I hope it is clear. Yeah. Okay. I hope it is clear. Now move to next question. Question three. The total number of domestic tourists in the second and third quarters. So it's a domestic tourists in the second and third quarter. Second quarter 840, third quarter 900. 840 plus 900, 1740. Is what percent of the total number of international tourists in the same two quarters. So international tourists in the same two quarters, that is second and third. So second and third. Second is seven, third is 720, second is 450. So 720 plus 450, 1170. 1740 is what percent of 1170, right? This has to be this by this, no? You remember it. Five is what percent of 10? So five by 10 is 50%, right? Five is what percent of 10? Numerator is what percent of denom denominator? 1740 is what percent of 11 1170? That is number of domestic tourists in second and third quarter is what percent of total number of international tourists in same two quarters? This is the funda, right? So you can quickly solve it now. Realize, okay, the zero cancelled. It, it becomes 174 by 117. That is one plus 
uh, 57 by 117. You can write like this because it is this difference of the difference is 57, right? It's 57 more. So this one basically means this one basically means 100 percent, and this 57 by 117. You can see it is around half, right? So 117, 117, exactly 50 percent is how much? 50 percent of 117 is how much? 58.5. Just half of 117. So 120 half is 60, 3 half is 1.5. So 120 minus 3, that is 60 minus 1.5, 58.5, right? So 58.5 here, okay, 58.5 here would give me 50%. Wait, is how much it is? 57, just less than 50. So 100 plus value just less than 50. So around 49, 48. So 100 plus 49, 49 percent, 149. This is the answer. That's it, right? So you have to do this approximation here, okay? So it was like 1740 is what a percent of 1170. So just we cancelled it. It is more than 100 percent. So calculate 100 percent, take 100 percent out of it. So 117 is 100 percent. That is you take out of it. So 117 you can write like this also. 117 is 100 percent plus 57 is left. So 57 is what a percent of 117? Around 50 and just less than 50 because 117, 50% is 58.5, right? So just less than 50. So just less than, slightly less than 50. So 100 plus 49, 48 around. So what is the option for 149 to mark it? That's the answer. Okay, I hope you got it. Now next question, uh, fourth one. By how much is the average number of domestic tourists in the first and second quarters greater than the number of international tourists in the first quarter. So by how much is the average number, mark this word here, average. Average number of domestic tourists in first and second quarter. So first quarter is 1260. Second quarter is 840. Sum is what? 1260 plus 840. That is 2100. But I need their average. Average is 2100 by 2 because of two quantities, 1 and 2. That is 1050. Okay. So by how much the average number of domestic tourists in first and second quarter, that is 1050, is greater than the number of international tourists in the first quarter. So number of international tourist tourists in first quarter is how much? 630. So 1050 is greater than 630 by how much? What is the percentage change? What is the percentage change? Change. What is change here? 420. Upon initial value, 630 to 1050. So 630 into 100. Quite easy, right? 21, 2, ja. 21, 3, ja. 2 by 3 is how much? 66.66%. 1 by 3 is 33.33%. 33 so 2 by 3 is 66.66%. That's the answer. So this is A option to tick here. It's quite easy. Nothing to explain here. Average number of domestic tourists in first and second quarter, 1260 plus 840. That is 2100. What is the average? Divide by 2. 1050. So 1050 is how much greater than Number of international tourists in first quarter that is 630. 630 to 1050. How much is it is greater? 420. 420 upon 630 that is 2 by 3 that is 66.66 percent. That's the answer for this question. Okay, now let's go to last question of the set. Okay, last question is if we include the fourth quarter of the year as well, if we include the fourth quarter of the year as well. The percentage of international tourists in the second quarter will become 16.67% of the total international tourists for the year. Right. So this is a question, right? So you can quickly do it again. If we include the fourth quarter as of the year as well, the percentage of international tourists in the second quarter, that is how much? International tourists in the second quarter is 450. So 450, 450 becomes 16.67%. So 450 becomes 16.67 percent. That is equal to 1 by 6. So what is total? So total should be how much? 450 into 6. That is 2700, right? 1 sixth is 450. So what is total? 1 is how much? 2700, okay. So total is 2700. I hope you got this step, right? 450 is 1 sixth. So this is basically equation goes like this, okay? That 16.67% of total is 450. This I know is 1 by 6. So 1 by 6 of total is 450. So total is how much? 450 into 6. 2700, right? 
so we don't need to do, do this much here okay just directly 450 is one sixth so what is total one means what one is one is total right in fraction one is 100 percent so one six is 450 so what is one 450 into six 2700 right so total is 2700 okay so till here it is 1800 right till 1800 for first three quarter and including fourth quarter it is 2700 so for only fourth quarter what is it is okay total including fourth quarter is 2700 total without fourth quarter is 1800 so what is only fourth quarter 2700 minus 1800 that is 900 that is 900 okay that is 900 so this answer is what this answer is 900 okay so only fourth quarter is 900 right what is the question here so by how much is the number of international tourists in the fourth quarter that is 900 greater than the average number of international tourists in the first three quarters so first three quarters total number of international tourists is 1800 what is their average divide by three three quarters or divide by three 600 so question is 600 is how much greater than 900 sorry 900 is how much greater than 600 what is the answer 50 percent quite easy right 600 half is 300 so 600 to 900 what is the answer 50 percent that's it so 50 percent is the answer for this question i hope you got it right i hope you got it all is clear right again again i'll repeat it if we include the fourth quarter of the year as well the percentage of international tourists in the second quarter will become 16.67 percent of the total international tourists for the year okay so that means what is the second quarter per number of international tourists is 450 that becomes one sixth of the total what is total now 450 into 6 2700 so total including fourth quarter is 2700 total for only three quarters is how much 1800 so what is the fourth quarter 2700 minus 1800 is that is 900 okay and so 900 is greater than the question is by how much is by how much is number of international tourists in the fourth quarter that is 900 greater than the average number of international tourists in the first three quarters so first three quarters average number of international tourists is how much total is 1800 what is the average 1800 by 3 600 so question is 900 is how much greater than 600 in percentage so change of 300 on 600 that is 1 by 2 that is 50 percent that's the answer for this question Okay, so again a logical set, right? We know involving a bit of calculation, not much, but a good logic. Okay, so good to start with pie charts. Okay, I hope you got it. Okay, thank you for watching. We'll continue pie charts in the next video.